We're back, I'm on board, and the boat is a disaster. It is covered in dust. It is gross. Uh, there's a lot of stuff ruined. Hopefully we can get it all put back together. But we're here. Yay! I'll appreciate it if you don't I'm Brooke, and this is Brayden. We have three kids and one dog. Rooney, Penn, Leo, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. It is three o'clock in the morning. I'm driving from California right now, and we're, Captain, come here. Come here, buddy. This guy right here, come here. He's gotta go to Utah, because we found a good person in Utah to watch him. So that's like 700 miles. And we're gonna try to do it the same day. Nine hours there, nine hours back. Think I can do it? I know I can do it. The weather is the question. There is some snow going on. Um, I think I miss it, but there's snow tomorrow and there's snow the next day when we leave on Thursday. I got this great two series BMW to get it done in. Brooke thinks that this is not a good snow car, but I've seen James Bond. He's driven these things in the snow, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not a two series. Good morning, everyone. We're waking up to a new year. And I feel camera shy because I haven't put a camera in my face for months. Like, I'm not joking, like months now. We're heading back to the boat. After nine months and one baby later, it's time to get back to our regularly scheduled program, which is boat life. So here we go. We're going to start packing. And Brayden is currently driving our dog captain to Utah where he's gonna stay with a caretaker because it's too difficult to get him back down to the Caribbean for the next few months. So we felt it was best for him to stay in a yard environment for the next like six weeks. We'll be cruising for about six weeks, then we'll come back and Leo has some more checkups and doctor's appointments. Uh, you know, just regular stuff. And Rooney's getting braces and the kids are just growing right up. So we're gonna do that. Pen. This is Pen being a pill. The TV. Pen, you've lost some teeth since we've seen you. We wanna show everyone. Come in close to the camera. Show them your missing teeth. Don't say on the TV. He's also on the TV. <laughs> He's also on the TV. He's missing some teeth. So we'll bring you along and we're gonna get back to weekly videos. Here we go. Jump in, go, hop in, hop in. Come here, come here. All right, so Captain's getting a little cuddly. I think he wants to jump up here on my lap, but that's not gonna work. So I have, a, I have a bit of a problem. I have a bit of a problem. The problem is, is that I told- This been pushed back against the United States. <sighs> okay. And whether Russia Hold is partially Come responsible on. or not- what are we not, doing here? Putin can point to outcomes that fit his objectives. Uh, NATO divided, right. the European Union in disarray, and America's politics- We're learning all about how energy and changes uh, world powers. Oil and gas have been Let's throw that off. Okay, so um, here's the problem, big problem. Kind of big problem, making me a little nervous here. I talked to the the place, it's a lady. It's a lady's house um, that boards dogs that uh, that I have some family that's used and, and they really like her. And 
she's great and everyone speaks very highly of uh of um of this lady that watches dogs i talked to her like a couple days ago i told her i'm thinking about coming up I gave her a couple days she said yeah that's fine but i don't know what her address is and i texted her like three hours ago and she hasn't responded and i'm not able to call her I'm not able to get a hold of her so i'm two hours away and i have no idea what address i'm going to um i guess i could ask my in-laws um what what her address is that's that's easy enough but like kind of nervous like what if she's not there right like what if she took like she took a holiday or something like that i'm pretty sure she's there but uh it's kind of it's got me a little a little nervous that's for sure so we'll see and then the other kind of nerve nervousness is uh what's the weather going to be like in the dark heads from the soviet union making it the world's third largest nuclear state in 1994 in what is known as the budapest memorandum it gave up those weapons and transferred them to russia we made it you ready ready to go this is your new winter home <laughs> Hope you like it. All right, so I just dropped off Captain, and it, it seems like a great situation. So a great house. He's just roaming around the house. Um, it should be it should be perfect for him. Um, it's kind of sad to, to see him go and get text from Brooke like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do this, or I'm gonna really gonna miss him. But uh, I think that this is gonna work out really good. Okay, we're off. I just stopped to my in-laws' house, got some soup. And it's uh, kind of starting to snow a little bit. Brooke told me it would snow. I said, no, we'll be fine. Um, issues, right, again. So I just want to get out of here while it's daylight. See if we can get to some dry area before it gets too dark. Um, so it's, uh, what time is it? 3.40? I guess we could be home. We could be home at... Uh, Two o'clock, maybe? That'll be good. Let's see what I can do. I just got off the exit. It is about 3.30. It's about 24 hours, a little bit more than 24 hours since I left. I'm spent, like absolutely spent. I don't think I could have got another 30 minutes. Uh, I got the, like kind of the adrenaline of being home, but um, wow, that was a lot. And uh, I got snow, I got ice, I got traffic, I got accidents. That was a, that was a lot. A lot going on on that drive. Had everything and nothing that I wanted. Oh, sleep is gonna be so good. Um, I got three hours until I gotta be up. Um. Um. <laughs> what? Oh, 30 pounds, I thought it was 70 pounds. What are these? ago that never fade away and I remember your face all right ready. you ready to go when you Can I hit the ground I are you ready to go are you, are you filming yeah no. are you ready to go it's the night before we're leaving night before Christmas <laughs> these are Mom, all the stop. bags we have to get actually they're not even all the bags like half of this bags. is so money bad. and power <laughs> And Leo video. Yeah, Pablo, Pablo, and Mommy. Okay, I don't even want to know. All right, guys, it's time to go to bed because tomorrow we're going to Grenada. High five. Okay, good night. Okay. Through the old streets, trying to turn back the clock to the days of old. Back to the days when all the things we knew were made of gold. The world moves on. Time seems a 
Mom's filming you. Yeah. No, don't film me in my underwear. <laughs> all right, we are all packed and ready to go. And we have a lot, like a lot. There's a bag for everyone, it seems like a lot, but there's three, wait, a stroller bag, a car seat bag, a clothes bag. There's three bags just for Leo. Oh, one's just like his like, crib. He has like a bassinet crib thing, because we don't have any way to, what else well, would I, I do? I don't know who Leo is. Leo's a baby. He's three <laughs> months old. And he needs a lot of stuff. He's our baby. He's not just a baby. He's our baby. <laughs> but um, there's, a, there's a lot. So I, I'll let me show you what we have. And then we just got something that I didn't think was going to come. I think it came. And I'm kind of like, I'm happy that it came. But also like, are you kidding me? It comes within like three hours of leaving for the airport. And I'm packed to the gills right now. How's this gonna work? Let me show you. So that's a crib. That's my backpack. That's some boat parts. That's my bag. Brooks bag. That's the, the kids. kids bag. Both ba both kids in that bag. This is camera equipment. This is baby. like a laptop and baby stuff for the plane. And then let's go show you what came. All right, so here it is. It is. Look at that. It's the mounting plate for the satellite that's not here. Can you believe that? Does that mean the satellite's coming today? It doesn't say it's coming today on the line. Well, did it say that was coming? No. So it could come. <laughs> I don't know. But what, we can't take that. It's a giant piece of metal. No, we can't take that. But we're not going to take that without the satellite. Good, we got to go. Such a mess. Come on, we gotta go right now. Get in the car. Pen, we gotta go. Don't look you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? We have to go. What are you working on? Bob Ross car. A Bob Ross car? What is that? But I put the motor on his face, so. So now it's not a Bob Ross car because the motor's on his face? That's kind of cool. Hey, let's go though, okay? Let's go. I mean, seriously, we're not going to get dinner if we can't go. We're going to go to the airport right now. Come on. Shadows of that time are cast beneath the street light beam as the world moves on. All right, bro, we're ready. You think we can do this? I'm just worried about the bags. We have so many bags and a baby and two kids. And like how did going from a party of four to a party of five create this? Like, it's ridiculous. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I forgot something. What? I remember the days. All right, we're off. We just ate Chipotle, our last meal in America. Anything else to add? Here we go. When I think of them, it takes me to that time and place as the world moves on. Time sings a song. Don't cry. Don't cry. As the days move.
staff, put your attention, please. All travelers, if any unknown person attempts to leave London, so are we going to film going on the plane or no? We're not because I got my hands full and you do too. Yeah. So we'll see everyone in after customs. Yeah. Customs is really what we're just thinking about a lot is how the heck are we going to control all those bags through customs. Yeah. So we'll see on the flip side. Get up to the crew if you pass by. Earbuds are available. If you do not have any of your own, simply let a crew member know. Please check around your seat and in that seat back pocket for any items you wish to discard or recycle. And in I can't film once I'm in there, so. Find a dock cart now at the marina. More than one. Oh my gosh. You glad we made it? Oh yeah. It wasn't as hard as that, was it? No, everyone's been so helpful and nice. It's so much better than in America. <laughs> People are jerks in America lately. It's so refreshing to come to somewhere that's friendly. How's the weather? Nice. I'm sweating so bad. Why are you wearing a sweatshirt? Tiny goat. Did we make it? Yes, it's very hot. So hot, and we're in like full sweats. Oh. It was freezing at home. We look like some of those like really dorky tourists that have way too much crap yeah, for like a short vacation. Oh, it's a long weekender. Yeah. Makeup like smeared on my eyes. Like, look at this. There's so much to do. I'm sure we'll get done, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna work really hard, and we got two older kids now. They can do a lot. But we're also holding a baby. Like, what? What you don't see is that Brayden's holding a baby on his hip while he's filming. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, it's just gonna take a couple of days to kind of settle in. Won't you be glad when you get to Antigua and you get to that little resort? Yeah. As long as the boat's clean and deep. There's so much dust everywhere. They were working on the windows and so they were sanding them and stuff with the doors open. So there's just a layer of dust on everything. Um, and then uh, I don't want Leo breathing that in because he's just a little baby. I don't want to breathe it in because then I can't breathe. I'm like sensitive to it. Um, yeah, there's some some mishaps out on the, the transom that we got to get fixed uh, that were supposed to be done. And yeah, a few other things that I eh, wasn't so happy about how it turned out. Um, but ultimately we just want to leave. <laughs> so, and we went to get food and everyone all the students came back because there's a medical school and a veterinary school here and they're all starting up back on monday so i mean everyone was out getting food so that was fun it was a really long line and they had no food so we're having pasta with veggies <laughs> that's what i'm making hopefully it gets better
throw a bag of carrots in the trash. You got it out. Yeah. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten. It's a four hour time change, so we're just like all thrown off. The grocery store here is so crowded. I think we waited probably for like 40 minutes in line. Something like that. So we're putting it all away. It was $900. AC. AC, which is still a lot of money. It, which is like what? Five, That's how, how much was it for the strawberries? Uh, it would be 25 American dollars for a little carton of strawberries. So I was like, yeah, no. But I was sad because I really wanted strawberries. Oh. Well, the room is looking a little better. We have this. This was Brayden's purchase because the other one went in the ocean. So we got to put that up top. Yeah, it's looking better. I'll be honest, when we first got back, I wanted to cry because I think I was just really tired because there was a lot of travel with a baby. But um, the boat was so messy, I just wanted to cry. And I think Brayden and I will get on and talk a little bit about our experience with getting work done here in Grenada, our honest experience and honest opinion. I think it's hyped up more than it should be, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get on and we'll talk about that uh, a little bit. But for now, we're gonna go to the pool, even though it's raining, because kids are very stir crazy. Sure. What are you doing? Uh, when you're not here, people do work the way that they want to do it, not the way you want them to do it always. Um, everyone's always said never do work on your boat without being there. And this is why. Look at this, this is just an example. Like, they just were using this as like a work surface. And they ruined it. Good thing we have a cover. <laughs> and it just ends up ruining it overall. And Hold so on. I'm just kind of going through it. Pause. Get to see my leg. He's cleaning it, but I told just everyone we would get on and talk more about getting work done in Grenada and our overall, our honest opinion on it. Yeah, hey, you want the honest opinion? Um, do you want it now? Uh, so the honest sure. opinion is is that yeah the work is cheaper but the work is less expensive um, but the truth is is that they don't have the same they don't work quite as hard um, that's a bad thing to say they don't work with the they don't get as much done in the same amount of time that maybe I was used to I'll talk about personal experiences that I was used to getting done in in Florida um, so that's kind of all kind of a, a negative right there so although it's cheaper it takes about about 25% longer to get anything done. Um, I think 25% is probably a pretty good number on, on how much it takes to get things done. And I don't know why, just difference in style. Um, and then the other thing is, is that uh, you really need to watch out who you get to work on your boat because there isn't, I think, maybe I'm wrong, but I think in the States there's a lot more training that goes on and the industry standards are higher. Here the industry standards are a little bit lower, so if you can manage the job well and be there on a regular basis, um, give it a shot. But if you're not doing that, I wouldn't give it a shot and I wouldn't necessarily expect it to be, you're not gonna get the same quality. No, let's just be honest. It's so bad. I wouldn't do it again. Like, but overall, um, a lot of the work has a little bit of cleanup associated with it. There's a little bit of cleanup associated with uh, other work in the States as well, but more so here. Um, and it's. It's, it's definitely not, you're not gonna get more done. Um, unless you have a yard that can manage it really well for you, that you really know what you're doing. But uh, but I wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't try to save money taking my boat here to get it done. I'm sure other people would totally no, disagree it, with it's me. It's not cheaper. I, I think that overall, yeah, I don't think it ends up being cheaper. Like sometimes the labor's cheaper, but they charge me for low, more labor and parts are more expensive. Yeah. So overall, I don't, I don't think I got a better deal.